Hey guys, it's Wednesday, January 13th. I have a dozen eBay orders to ship out, but before I get started, I want to let you know that Lonnie and I recorded a new podcast last night. A lot of you guys already know Lonnie from the Shed Flips channel, and we have a podcast called Guys Without Jobs. We try to do it once or twice a month. We're not always incredibly consistent like we should be, but we have a lot of fun doing it. It's pretty informal. We talk about a wide range of topics, so if you haven't heard it before and you want to give it a listen, I'll put a link down below in the description. All right, let's get to work. All right, first thing is back here on the F-Rack. This is an original NES. Didn't have power cords or anything to test it, so I just sold it untested for $24.99 plus shipping. And that's going out to your name, Dan. Dan, thank you for the support. Hope that system works for you. All right, next thing is a satellite radio kit. XM Rody XT. This is something I've had about six months. Uh, also something I got in a big bulk buy. That sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Okay, next order has six items, and the buyer bought them in two pairs of three. So first up, we've got some books down on the E5 shelf. Let's see. I think it's just about all of these right here, so I'm going to go ahead and pull some of these. We'll just bring the whole stack over and see which ones are going to go. Okay, so I know we've got this book right here. This is from 1948. It's... um. It was for the bottlers of Coca-Cola. And then this book right here, Picturesque Journeys in America. And the third item in this first lot is an E3 right here. This is a Hansel and Gretel bunt pan by Williams and Sonoma. These three right here sold for $221.97 plus shipping. And the next grouping of items for that buyer, we've got some books. So we've got 1883 Building the Nation, 1858, I'm sorry, 1871, River of the West, and 1858, Battles of the Republic. These sold for $54.97 plus shipping, so I will definitely combine all these into one box and refund them the difference in the shipping cost. That buyer didn't say they're a viewer, but I recognize the username, so Michael, if you're watching this, thank you for the business. Really hope you like all that stuff. Next thing's a pair of pants right here at E42. These are Carhartt work pants. Uh, something I got as part of a book buy from Mike. Those sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing I'm shipping out is an order of uh, three PS2s and two DSs. The PS2s are right here. These are all PS2 Slims that didn't work, unfortunately. Uh, let's see, and the DS is a black DS and a pink DS. They should be somewhere in the C rack. Here they are. Uh, a buyer reached out, uh, wondering if I would do a bulk deal on all these, and I said, yeah, that's fine. I think the total selling price was right around like $73 plus shipping, uh, but I'm gonna do $45 plus shipping, and I'll just combine all these into one box and refund them the difference. Those are going out to your name, Shane. Shane, I couldn't get any of those to work, but hopefully you can. Thanks for the support. Next thing is a diecast car. It's a Dale Jarrett Air Force. Let's see, this one right here, so let's move couple of these out of the way got this and that bulk a lot of stuff I bought from the online auction that sold for $19.99 plus shipping your name Joseph bought that car he says hey John love the channel and I enjoy watching the guys without jobs channel as well if it wasn't for Lonnie talking about you and his channel I would have never discovered yours my grandfather loves NASCAR and Dale Jarrett was one of his favorite drivers so this is a gift for him thanks Joseph thank you so much for the business really hope your grandfather likes that car okay next thing is an a41 it's a really tiny piece, I just listed yesterday. I think it's this guy right here, yeah. This is also something that I got from Mike. It's a little parking timer, kind of uncommon. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a doctor's bag. This is something I picked up from John. I think it's been about a month ago now. That sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Next order has two items. Let's see, first is down here, B51. It is a little bottle of number five Chanel, not 100% full. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And the same buyer bought a tennis racket that I believe is back here. Let's see, is it this one? I do believe it is this one. Head uh, TI Carbon 5000. 
Something I got from Kevin the Tennessee Picker that sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Both of those are going out to viewer named Melody. Thank you for the support, Melody. I really appreciate it. Okay, last thing I'm shipping out is an E31. It is a Polaroid camera. Had to sell this untested. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Your name Nate got that camera. He says, thank you so much for the wealth of knowledge you share in your videos. I work in a hospital cath lab and just started reselling a few months ago after a friend showed me your channel. I've learned so much from you already and look forward every day to seeing what new sales and ideas you have to share. My eBay store is N5 Discovery if you wouldn't mind plugging it. And I'd love to put a sticker on my guitar case if you can spare any. Nate, I'll be happy to throw in some stickers for you. Thanks for your support. It's Thursday morning. I have 18 eBay orders to ship out. But first, I've got a couple questions from viewers I want to answer. Uh, first one is from Alan Earl. It's been a while since you phased out your totes. I missed the clicking of you opening them. Can you update us on how much more efficient it is without having to dig into totes? I personally do not miss that clicking noise and I do not miss making the video edits, you know, each time I would open one up and the camera would get all shaky. That was just such a pain to me. Uh, but so far it's really good. Um, the only time I have any kind of trouble finding stuff is when it had an old inventory code. So like if it said if the C5 tote, for example, it would generally be somewhere in this area. So sometimes that takes me a little bit of time to find it, but anything with a new inventory code, I can find it pretty much instantly. And it's just easier to grab it. I'm not digging through totes and everything. It doesn't look as clean and pretty as it was with the totes, but it's definitely much more efficient with space. Okay, next is from Jeff. Question, I see you have two shipping scales. What type brand do you recommend and have you noticed any accuracy difference or change over time? Okay, so I have two scales that he was talking about. First is this little Accutech. I use this because anything that's lightweight, it goes to an extra decimal point for the ounces and it's very, very accurate. So like, for example, this right here, 14.8 ounces, so I would just round up to 15 ounces. Now, bigger boxes I put on here because the bigger, like if I had a really big box, it, it just would be too big for this little scale and it's hard to even see what the weight is. So that's why I have this. I like the uh, the screen that mounts to the wall. So it's totally separate from the scale, makes it easy to read. But as far as weight, see this just says 14 ounces when really it's probably closer to 15 ounces. So it's not 100% trustworthy with the really lightweight stuff, but with the heavy stuff, it works fine. And that's also the Accutech brand. I've searched a lot for a really good scale that is trustworthy for the lightweight stuff and the big stuff. And I just haven't found anything that I love. I'll put links to both of these scales down in the description if you guys wanna check them out. All right, let's pack some orders. First thing is right here. This is an Under Armour quarter zip pullover, something I got from Kevin the Tennessee Picker. This was in my storage unit, so I went ahead and pulled it. That sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Okay, next thing I'm shipping out is a tripod. It's an old inventory code, so it said A2. So it's likely somewhere over here. Here we go. This is a sunset tripod with a case. Something I got as part of a bulk buy. So I got about $5 into it. That sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a lot of wrenches. It's four Kawasaki wrenches. I believe it is these right here. I've only got a couple dollars into these. The lot of four sold for $24.99 free shipping. Next thing is a lot of NASCAR patches in E41. I just listed these yesterday. There's a total of 19 of them and they sold for $24.99 free shipping. Next thing is a diecast car, Dale Jarrett. It is up here on E1. It's the Muppet version. Let's see, I think it's this guy. This is one of the ones I got in that big online auction lot. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Okay, next two things are some uh, assorted belt buckles that I did an auction for. The first lot is 18 of them, and it is also an E41. Let's see. These right here. Got all these from um, the pickle resellers. This lot sold for $62 plus shipping. You guys might have caught it in the screenshot I just showed. I made a mistake in that listing. Well, both listings actually. Instead of belt buckles, I put in belt buckets. It got auto-corrected whenever I typed it. And as soon as you get a bid on an item, eBay won't let you change the title. So a couple of you guys reached out and let me know I made the mistake. I appreciate the heads up, but unfortunately I couldn't change it. It was just belt buckets the whole time, but it didn't seem to hurt the price too much. 
that first lot of buckles is going out to a viewer named Pam. She says, Happy New Year, John. Love the show and podcast with Lonnie. Thanks for the great content. Pam at Flipping Hot Finds. Pam, Happy New Year to you as well. Thanks for the support. Okay, the next lot of belt buckles is in C31. Right here. This is a total of 17 and those sold for $43 plus shipping. And those are going to have to be your name, Jason. Thanks for the support, Jason. I really appreciate it. All right, next thing I'm pulling are some Pokemon cards that I auctioned. Let's see, first is an E51 down here. I think there's a couple packs. So we'll just go ahead and grab them both. I did these for 100 cards each because I really had no idea what they were worth. Um, but now that I've seen what these have sold for, the next ones I auction off will be larger. Probably 200 cards, 300 cards, maybe even like 500 at a time. Just to kind of get that sale price up a little bit. Okay, so first lot right here, that sold for $9.50 plus shipping. This one right here, this one went to a buyer who bought another one. An E41, so we'll grab these. There's at least one or two in here so that buyer got e51 pc1 and e41 pc5 right there these two sold for 27 dollars plus shipping and then these two went to different buyers this, these right here sold for 750 plus shipping and these sold for nine dollars plus shipping one of those lots is going on to a viewer named christopher christopher thank you for the support hope you like those cards all right next thing we're coming over to d42 Right here, it is a PlayStation 4 controller, something I got from the Pickwell resellers. That sold for $32.99, free shipping. Next sale is a really cool one. Right here in D32, I put it in this folder to protect it, but I'm gonna take it out and show it to you guys. This is a 1966 Ray-Ban catalog, something I got from my guy Mike, I guess about a month ago, so you guys might have seen it in that video, but I just got around to listening to it yesterday, and this thing is just killer. <laughs> With sunglasses and these things. It's like this magazine came straight out of Mad Men or something. That sold for $69.99 plus shipping. Okay, next thing is right here an F42. Actually sold two things out of here, so I'll just go ahead and pull them both. First is this women's Seiko watch. That sold for $34.99 plus shipping. And next is this Edmund catalog, also something I got from my guy Mike. I listed it this morning and it sold right away for $24.99 free shipping. All right, next thing is a die cast car. It's this Jimmy Spencer right here. Let me move that car out of the way. I've got about $5 into this one and sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Your name Bart got this car. Thanks for the support, Bart. Hope you like it. Okay, next thing is another old catalog. Let's see. D42, I also put this in an envelope. This is another piece I got from Mike. It is in the Billiard and Bar Supplies catalog from 1892. It's really delicate, so I don't want to take it out of there. I listed it for $200 or best offer. Somebody sent me an offer of $150 plus shipping, and I accepted. Last thing I'm pulling is a metal detector. Should be somewhere in here it's got an old inventory code so it's going to be in one of these boxes there it is this is the bullseye that i'm selling for my mother-in-law that sold for 17.99 plus shipping and if you were named mike got this thanks for the support mike before i end this video guys i got some viewer mail to open uh first is from cambridge ontario it doesn't say who it's from dear cincinnati pickers love your videos i just started reselling on ebay and i have two questions first one is how would you determine how much a video game would cost to ship saying it's 126 grams uh, my second one is how can i get more views on ebay please help enjoy a few cards on me i would love some stickers yovan sorry if i'm mispronouncing that yovan and he sent randy myers card tim duncan and yao ming thank you for the cards man um, as far as shipping goes, I know Canadian shipping is a little bit different than U.S. shipping, so it might not all translate perfectly. Uh, but basically, just get a little scale and, you know, have it nearby, like a little shipping scale, and weigh your game with whatever it is you're going to ship it in. So if it's good, like a bubble mailer, you know, weigh the bubble mailer and weigh the game and do the total weight and then just add that in for calculated shipping and you should be good to go. And I'll definitely send you some stickers.
Okay, next is from Jason. Hello from Arizona. Thank you, John, for all the informative videos you put out. I got this in a mixed lot of pins I purchased at an estate sale. I thought of Cincinnati Picker as soon as I saw it. Hope you enjoy it. Happy reselling. Jazz W. eBay store W's this and that shop. User Jazz and G W. YouTube channel J and G W's Adventures. No videos at the writing of this, but soon to come. Thanks again. Happy New Year. Jazz. All right. Oh, that's too bad. It busted, man. Looks like it broke in transit. Although I think it was a um, flying pig, or like Cincinnati or something. But appreciate the thought anyways. Thank you. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.